Well, good morning, McQueenie Baptist Church. Great to see you on this Tuesday morning. Um, I really enjoyed the time we had together on Sunday. It was great to be back uh, at in-person services again. Uh, it was just such a wonderful day. For those of you that were not able to join us, uh, we understand and we continue to pray for you and miss you. And we look forward to the day when all of this pandemic thing will be over and we can all be together once again. I just want to let you know, just a reminder that uh, this morning, uh, Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, we will have our, what, well, it was our prayer breakfast, and we are still having prayer meeting at 8 minus the breakfast for now. Look forward to when we can begin breakfast again. And then on Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, we're going to have a devotion time and prayer meeting on Wednesday evening. So uh, keep those things in your prayers. Both of those will be in the fellowship hall. So uh, we look forward to seeing you. Uh, this morning and uh, on Wednesday evening. You know, Sunday we talked about a great Bible verse out of the book of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 43, 18 through 20. And I want to read that for you once again. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. And of course, we uh, dealt at some length with the fulfillment of that prophecy and what Isaiah was talking about and how those, uh, how that uh, prophecy has come to pass. Uh, but the, the thing I want to focus on a little bit more this morning is that portion of the scripture in verse 18 where Isaiah said, forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. We have a similar verse in the book of Amos, the prophecy of Amos chapter 5, Verse 5, and I just want to read that for you. It says, Seek me and live. Of course, this is God speaking through the prophet Amos. He said, Seek me and live. Do not seek Bethel. Do not go to Gilgal. And do not journey to Beersheba. Seek the Lord and live. Now, those are some interesting comments, uh, places that the Lord was uh, identifying. Why? What, what is significant? about those locations. Well, when you go back in the scriptures and look at it, Bethel is the place where Jacob had his amazing dream. He built an altar there and made a promise to God. Now, Gilgal is that place where the Israelites camped on their first night uh, upon entering the promised land. And, and we know that they, re they returned to that place repeatedly to consecrate themselves to the Lord. And then Beersheba is where Abraham made a treaty with Abimelech and called on the Lord. His son Isaac dug a well and built an altar there. So all three of these places were places of real significance to the Israelite people. They were places where God had done some amazing things and had made some amazing promises to his people. And so they were, they were significant. But why would God tell the people not to return to those places? Well, uh, I think that points to a, an issue that we all deal with in our lives. Uh, I, I have seen in my own life, in the lives of many people that I know, that it's not only the, the negative things in our past that tend to obstruct us and keep us from being able to move into the future and to uh, see the new thing that God is wanting to do, but oftentimes it, it, it's the good things. It, it, it's the wonderful things that God has done in our past. And that's what happened here in this passage. And the reason that God is telling the people not to return to those places is not because they're not significant. In fact, they were to return to those places, but they weren't to return to those places in order to seek God's presence and to seek God's plan in his future. They were to go to those places in order to be reminded of the things that God had already done in their lives. They were to return to those places to, to be inspired, to, be, to consecrate themselves, and to remember uh, God's faithfulness and to have their faith strengthened for what it is that God wants to do in their lives. What happens most very often is that we, we go to the things of the past and we tend to get stuck there. In fact, often we want to we want to find God in those places and we want to, uh, if you will, sort of put God in that box and we expect him to do the same things that he did then in the same way that he did it, instead of looking for that new thing that God wants to do. And so uh, this morning, I just want to encourage you. It's good to remember 
the things that God has done in your past. It's good to celebrate those things and to certainly have your strength and your faith in, uh, built and strengthened by the things and remembering the things that God has done. In fact, we're, we're instructed in Scripture to do that. But we need to be careful that we don't get stuck in those things and, and so that we're not able to see what it is that God is wanting to do. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your grace and your goodness, Lord. We thank you for the things that you have done in our lives and the, the victories that you have already brought to pass. Lord, we thank you for the mighty uh, works that you have accomplished in, in our lives and in our, our nation, in the lives of our church and our, our members. Lord, we thank you for those great events. And we we rejoice in those things and we celebrate uh, in those remembrances. But Lord, we understand that we are not to seek uh, what you are doing now in the things that you have done in the past, but rather to be open, to open our eyes, to look into the present and into the future for what it is that you want to do. And the instruction is that we are to seek the Lord. We are to seek you. And in seeking you, we will find uh, your direction, your purpose for our lives. We thank you. We praise you. We ask you to give us a great day today. In Jesus' name, amen. I do pray that you have a great day today. And as we, uh, as we go forward, that we rejoice and celebrate in the things that God has done in the past, but we seek the God in the and seek God in the present and look for what He wants to do in our future. God bless you. Have a great day.